Hi, I'm Stefano Zenios, and I'm a professor in the GSP. Uh, for the last eight years, I have been working with colleagues in the School of Medicine, School of Engineering, and in the Design School to develop uh, project-based courses that teach our students the process of innovation. The course that I will describe today is the Startup Garage. Uh, it's a two-quarter course in which you will learn how to develop and launch a new startup in the context of your own idea. The course is highly experiential. You will work in teams, uh, starting with a user need, turning that user need into a product or a service, and finally into hopefully a commercially viable idea. Uh, fourth quarter, the course will meet in the second half of the quarter, beginning November 2nd. Uh, we'll be meeting Monday and Friday, 10 to 11.45 a.m. or 1.15 to 3 p.m. And winter quarter, it's going to be the full quarter, Tuesday and Thursday, 1.15 to 3 or uh, 3.15 to, to 5 p.m. Uh, we'll be meeting in the, uh, in the collab in the Night Management Center. I am one of the faculty teaching the course. Russ Siegelman, uh, who is with Kleiner Perkins, uh, will be one of the other instructors. And we will also have a team of innovation fellows who will be working with the teams. Um, I'm a big believer in using design thinking as the basic template behind the course. And the ideas behind design thinking are fairly simple and straightforward. You start by immer immersing yourself in your user's experience, try to understand their needs at a deep, at a deep and pathetic level. We then turn these needs into a point of view statement, which is a call to action, the problem that we want to solve. We then brainstorm and prototype, develop multiple prototypes as ways to communicate our ideas with the user. And then finally, as the prototypes get refined and we have a more well-developed concept, we start thinking about how to get this implemented. So that's the basic principle behind design thinking. So what we are doing here is we are going to combine design thinking with some of the things that we do really well in the business school. So in the early stages of the process where you're immersing yourself in your user and try to understand their needs, we also want to do a comprehensive competitive analysis. So how many users like this are out there? What are the competing offerings? How well do they meet their needs? so that you can position any new product or service in relationship to the competition. And then as we move forward and you start brainstorming and prototyping, we want you not only to brainstorm and prototype a new product or a service, but prototype the complete business model and the funding strategy and the implementation plan. Because that complete iteration and interaction between the product, the service, and the business model will enable you to design a venture that is going to be more likely to succeed. And here's an example of what happens in the course. You start with a physical prototype of the product or the service. You complement that with a prototype of the business model. And we're using a tool that is called Business Model Canvas. Then you start brainstorming the different sources of funding and develop spreadsheets for the different financial models that are going to support turning this product into a scalable business. So this cycle, and by going through this cycle, over multiple rounds of iteration, you are refining not only the product, but the business model, the funding strategy, and the financial model. And here are a few examples of projects that we had in courses like this one in the past. There was a physician who came up with the idea of reinventing the mechanical, the mechanical ventilator that is used in the ICU. He wanted to create something that is much less expensive than the current ventilator that costs $30,000. He found a couple of engineers, they opened up the ventilator, and they figured out how to redesign it by using new components uh, and new material. They recruited a business school student, they took 356, this course, they developed their business plan, they were the winners of the Inversions of the Year Award from the Popular Science Magazine. And they have received funding both from internal sources at Stanford, but also later on from angel investors to launch their product in, uh, in Asia. 
And they are now working with a major distributor in Asia to create a distribution partnership for entering the market in China. Uh, this is a second example. Uh, this is a team that worked on the problem of getting financial advice from your social network. And they created this website, wongstar.com, in which users can tag their friends based on their expertise in different domains so that, for example, when you want to know who is the best yogurt expert, you can get that information by going to, Young, to Wongstar and seeing who are the yogurt experts who have the best ratings. Um, there was a team that developed an e-commerce site for selling jewelry. Uh, we had a team that developed uh, an API that would help e-commerce sellers redirect a fraction of their savings to, uh, to their savings account and to an investment account, so creating an automated savings program for e-commerce sellers. And we had a team that worked with the Children's Hospital to create a complete service to help young patients make the transition from pediatric care to adult care. Young patients with chronic conditions make that transition. And all these teams, so some of these teams are continuing their work, raising, securing funding to move their ideas forward. Now, in terms of the details, uh, the first course, four quarter course is uh, S356 design where you are going to focus on one complete cycle of the design process. We start the second half of the quarter from November 2nd until the end of the quarter, meeting Mondays and Fridays, 10 to 11.45 or 1.15 to 3 p.m. And this is going to be a two-unit course. Then winter quarter, you can continue for further iterations and refining your idea, more prototypes. Uh, our goal for the second quarter is to actually develop a minimally viable product and launch it and test it with a small group of users. Uh, we are going to be meeting Tuesday and Thursday, 1.15 to 3 or 3.15 to 5, and this is going to be a four-unit course. Uh, to get into the course, you will need to apply. The application deadline is June 8. Uh, you can download the application from our course website, startup.gsp.stanford.edu, and we are envisioning three different tracks of applications. If you already have an idea and a team, we want you to apply as a team. Each of you need to submit an individual application, but we want you to bundle the applications together and let us know that you want to join the course as a team. And if you, that's one track. The second track, if you have an idea and you're very passionate to work about it, uh, apply as an individual and let us know that you want to recruit other team members from the class to join you as part of the course. And the third option is if you really want to take the course but you don't have any idea and you're comfortable working on others' ideas, just tell us that in the application. One thing that I want to highlight is some of you may already be working on a particular product or service, uh, but what we want you to think about as you're applying in this course, not so much about the product or the service, but the user and what is the user need. So one of the key questions in the course is we'll ask you to describe the specific user need that you want to address in this course. We want to hear about that because even if you're already working on a product, we'll ask you to take a step back and learn more about the user of that product and what that user needs uh, and design your product in a way that best matches the user needs. Um, so uh, it's going to be a highly experiential course, highly interactive. We are going to be in the call lab. You're going to be working with your team. You're going to learn the basic steps of the process in the context of your project, where there's going to be very little lecturing, no cases. Most of the learning is going to be experiential. Every team is going to have an innovation fellow working with them. The innovation fellow is going to be the link between the team and our extensive network of mentors and advisors who are ready to work with our teams. So as the teams progress and we learn more about what they are doing, our fellow is going to be their main contact with our outside network. It's going to be the main contact who will help them secure technical expertise if they need technical help in certain areas. 
uh, as the teams start to develop and their ideas start to develop, they are also going to be assigned a mentor, an industry executive, successful entrepreneur, or investor who will be working with them. Uh, the teams will have the opportunity to test their ideas, not only with users, but also with them investors and entrepreneurs in a process of continuous iteration and feedback with the different users that these ideas are aimed to address. And the key point is this is a course where we're going to ask you to get out of the building. Go and test your ideas with users. Go and test your pitch with investors. The learning is going to be experiential in an intense project-based environment. So apply at startup.gsp.stanford.edu and applications are due by June 8, 9 a.m. Thank you.